everybody, it's me, Mir, and this is Katarina on the line, and we got Nicholas, we got like a bunch of badasses here, just, just say, what's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> He's just scratching his face there. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> so I was just going to go over my results here with, um, Katarina and uh, Nicholas, I paid for a $2,000 solo ad. I just went buck wild crazy right after this event. Uh, I threw myself into debt on purpose because I got a little. <laughs> I was like, ah! <laughs> Let me just throw all my money away and see what happens, right? So, um, David Wood says 20%. I never understood that concept. I always did 100%, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like just give all your money away. Just hopefully it'll grow. <laughs> but anyway, um, I I basically got about a thousand leads. So badass. I used a, a custom uh, capture page. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I'll be nice enough to share it with everybody here. Let's see. Um. Okay. I, but basically, this is what happened. I used the custom capture page. I got about a 40% conversion rate. Um, so that's pretty badass. Anything over 30 is, like, awesome. Um, um, the Make Money Now capture page converts at, like, 35% for me uh, with the traffic that I've got. But anyway, um, I sent out an email, uh, and I'm, like, sending out this this series, but I sent out an email with a survey today, and um, I'm going to be sending it out all week, so I'll be collecting results, but uh, so far I got this one result right here, and it's worth, like, kind of talking about, because um, because it's, it's interesting. So, a person I've never met, never spoken to, right, just with some paid marketing, got some traffic, they went through the sales funnel, they watched the video, they didn't buy, and then as a result, uh, uh, she filled out the survey. The first question of the survey, I, I asked, what is your name, email address, and phone number, right? I literally asked for all of that, <laughs> all of their information. Uh, she filled out all of her information. The second question I asked you, I, I asked her was, is it okay to contact you in regards to the survey? She said yes. Okay, the third question was, how old are you? Like, what age bracket? I got 15 to 20, 21 to 30, 31 to 40, 41 to 50, 51 to 60, uh, and she's within the age bracket of 31 to 40. Uh, and then I said, how long have you been trying to make money online for? And she said about two to five years. I was like, wow. Okay, then I went over here. I said, all right, how much money are you currently making um, online right now? And she said, zero. I haven't made any money yet. Okay, so can you kind of start to see? Uh, and then I said, uh, you know, my next question is, how much do you realistically want to earn per month? 1000 to 5000 and a bunch of other options. She picked 1000 to 5000 right? Realistically, not, not something crazy, right? Just very realistic. Uh, and then I said, what is your biggest challenge you need help with? Her biggest challenge was building websites, landing pages, and that was her number one uh, option on the list I gave her. And then I said, what do you think is stopping you from reaching your desired income goal right now? Uh, the option, I, I gave her a bunch of options. One option was information overload. Don't know what to do, what to focus on first, second, et cetera. That's what she selected. So uh, the next question is, how, how often would you like me to email you? And she says, every time something is important. Um, and then I said, would you attend weekly webinars and seminars for free to help you get started online? And she said, yes. So uh, that, that's only one result, obviously, <laughs> right? But uh, based off a trend that I'm going to start to develop, and, and believe it or not, I think this is going to be a consistent trend with the traffic that I selected where I went for it. So if you think about we've got a couple problems here. One, we've got a person who's been online for two to five years who hasn't made a single penny yet. Two, the person has no idea what to do, how to get started or anything, doesn't have websites, landing pages, don't, doesn't know what to do because you're just overwhelmed with information. 
Um, and you can tell by the way she's saying that because she's basically saying, email me every time something is important. Well, she believes that all the marketers are emailing her every time something is important, so she's getting information, 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 information. That's my little sister in the background. She's just like uh, on her phone laughing to herself. But anyway, <laughs> the point is, <laughs> the point is, the point is, um, this is live and is recorded, so. <laughs> hey! <laughs> What's up? <laughs> But anyway, anyway, point is, um, I mean, like, look at look at what's happening. Um, this is why it's funny, but Empower Network is the perfect solution for this, right? It's got uh, it takes all the information overload and gives them eight core commitments to follow, right? It, they it, they don't have to. Um, so that solves the information overload. The building websites and the landing pages, well, Empower Network takes care of that. Gives you the landing pages done for you. You'll have the website to start blogging at, so you're good to go. Um, and you can get 100% commission, so you get started right away and make some money. I mean, <laughs> what else is there is there to do? Um, so, And also the survey gives me uh, a way to reach out to the individual participants on my list with their individual answers and like uniquely tailor uh, a um, um, basically a solution for them or I can just write them out an email or pick up the phone and actually call them uh, and just say hey listen we've got this for you yada 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 so if you're hitting your warm market <laughs> you're very limited in what you can do I actually avoid my warm market um, you want to push you want to push a warm market in and you want to push them away. So you want to force everybody into making a decision uh, because the decision, when they, when people make a decision, it's a lot easier. I was, I was sitting in the car the other day. I was sitting in the ambulance and I was talking to my partner and they're like, oh, so what else do you do? I was like, oh, I just make a lot of money online. And they're like, oh, really? Yeah, tell me about it. I was like, listen, I'm not going to tell you about it unless you're, like, serious. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not going to even waste my breath. <laughs> you know, and this person's like, no, please tell me. I was like, listen, if I tell you, you have to get started. Otherwise, I'm not telling you. <laughs> right? and, then, oh, and now they're just that. looking at me, right? And they're just like, uh, you know, it's only, they're like, well, how much is it? And I was like, listen, I'll just send you a video, and then you just sign up, and then we'll talk. Other than that, I'm not going to waste my time, right? So, so now, <laughs> now this person's writing down their email address, right, and sending it to me in a text message, and they're like, please, please. And then I'll, uh, I'll see that person. I, I work with that person, right, and I'll leave the job. And then next week I'll show up, and they're like, you never sent it to me. I was like, sorry, man, I was making a lot of money, and I just I, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> but what it does is it starts, oh, please, you got to tell me what it is that you're doing. I was like, Listen, man, I, I don't think you're ready for this because you'd probably quit this job if you knew how much money I made online, right? Yeah. So now they're just like, Take what I'm doing here is I'm building this, like, incredible response. I'm building it and building it and building it and building it. And then I just say, like, yo, make a decision on what it is you want. They don't even know what it is, and they're making a decision to say yes. <laughs> so that way when they see it, that they're already going to buy um, and and that's I've done that with a couple people already, and they they've saw the presentation. They're like, I don't know what this is, but if you're making a lot of money, I'm in. Click, <laughs> you know. But that's <laughs> <laughs> but that's what you got to do with these people. You've got you've got to push them in. And I tell them, listen, no wussies, no complaining. You know, this girl's like, can I can I get signed up right now? I had one girl. I says blown away by the response. I was like, oh, yeah, make a lot of money online. And she's like, really? All right. How much how do I want to get started? You know, she just jumped right in. And I was just like, um, we don't allow wussies, so I don't know what to tell you. And she's like, no, I'll do the work. You know, and I was just like, I don't, I don't think you have what it takes. No, no, I can do it. What are you trying to say? You know, now, now they're fighting to get into Empower Network. So and they See, have no idea what that's kind of what David Wood does too, you know, with the whole no wussies allowed thing. It's like people are like, oh, I'm not a wussy. And so you're just like, oh, all right. And so then you kind of just prove it to yourself by proving it to David Wood.
That's funny. <laughs> it's such a great marketing tactic. It blows me away. It blows me away because what it just says is like, listen, um, you know, I only work with badasses. So if you're a wussy, you know, sorry, you know. And then people, what it does is, I, I, I what it does is, I was, I'm taking this training in, uh, it's called Auto Responder Madness with Andre Chaperone. He's <laughs> awesome. I learned a lot of my email marketing and storytelling techniques in terms of email marketing from him. Phenomenal guy. Um, if you want, I can give you the link to, to purchase his product. Uh, but basically, you, when you buy it, you're actually buying emails from him. So... <laughs> <laughs> you pay him so he can send you emails. Think about the ultimate positioning there. Oh, God. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're paying him for emails. And um, it's really cool because I got to see email marketing from a different perspective. And I, I forgot where I was going with this, but uh, you sparked an idea there. Oh, he talks about knowing your target market, right? So business is all about your target market and really finding out what makes them tick, what makes them work, what are they thinking, what are they seeing, hearing, what is it that their pain is, what is it, what is it that they really need to kind of get over their pain. And um, how can you provide that as a solution? Because you're, then you're solving a real problem. And if you could solve a real problem, you get rich. I mean, think about what Dave and Dave did. They solved a real problem online. It was real. <laughs> this is a problem that everybody had. And they just said, all right, here's the solution. Now money's going to fly in all angles because it solves a real problem. <laughs> so um, he's always, uh, Andre was basically saying, when you find your audience, you need to you need a polarized message. You need a message that's going to push people away and bring people closer to you. Um, because then you'll have a group of people who are just obsessed with you, and you're going to have a group of people who hate you as well, which is awesome, which is what you want. Uh, and I remember hearing this from another hypnotist. Uh, he says, if I had 100 people that I could you know, give, send the message out to, I'd rather send out a message that will... Not try if I send out a message to please everybody, it's not really going to inspire anybody to take action. But if I send the message out to a hundred people and it pisses like seventy of them off and like ten people buy, that's the message that you probably want to send out because that's what's going to get people either closer to you or away from you, which is why. Uh, David Wood always say, always says, buy, sign up, buy, sign up, buy, sign up. And that's going to do two things. So it's either going to make somebody buy or say, I hate this guy. He's telling me to buy. <laughs> so I know they're going to do it anyway, right? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, you know. They end up, they always end up buying, but you know that's 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 not even the point. But um, I was listening to an Inner Circle audio the other day, and I was paying attention to what David Wood was saying, or actually it was David Sharp talking about um, with the emails, like the autoresponder emails that he sends out and how controversial he makes them to just like create the chaos that people are going to start talking and there's going to be a frenzy starting to blow up, right? And that's why he's so blunt and forthright in his emails. It's not to impress, you know, like the, the church-going prim and proper crowd that just want him to like be serving him like this uh, really nice message right and um, I thought it was hilarious because that's exactly why he's so successful because he's just like I'm a badass and I don't care meh, 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 meh. I have no <laughs> shoes on I have long hippie hair I was in a freaking van right <laughs> and he's just like buy now or get out of my face yeah. <laughs> he's just like no he's what? It's the whole idea of him going the, the viral sustainability. Oh my gosh, there's so much things that could be done with that because, like, I understand talking to the target market, they will appeal to that, of course. But you're talking to like just everybody. I mean, just everybody. People just buy stuff, which makes perfect sense. Like, people are just going to come in with something to build. How are you? You get your audio up when you do. But no, people are just going to buy. Period. Regardless, I mean, David Wood can run around and be a goofball. If anything, I know more goofballs 
put together that can outmatch David Wood. And so that, that just like sparked the idea of I don't think a goofball. Right after watching his video, I guess I was just like in trance, in a deep trance. I you know I was in deep trance tonight and went all the way to the office thinking that we're gonna have a conference actually at the office, not thinking that we're gonna do it online. Bye bye grab. <laughs> but it was, it was the idea that I was just like, Oh my gosh, I'm 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 so silly and it's all the things that are done are recorded and people see that stuff and it's like that guy is pretty crazy. That guy is ridiculous. He's doing ridiculous things. He's ridiculous Nicholas, you know? But those things can viralize. Those things can get you leads. People just click on stuff and they just not. They like things, they feel good, and they press <laughs> That's it. So I understand a good approach, especially for the free marketing, that if anything, that any video needs to be entertaining. I understand blogs need to be entertaining, but people don't read. I have to be honest, people won't read unless they're typing in for SEO and saying, I want to read this. And I'm looking up for this review and I'm trying to learn something. You know, but other than that, they're all trying to kick back and watch other people read things. That's it. So we just got to give them something to watch. And that would easily just get people coming in, looking at it, and say, oh, what's this? It's probably more things. And then they'll see something that says, only enter if you promise not to laugh. And they're just like, hell yeah, I'm in. <laughs> that's it. And so it, you just need to just get them to the video. That's the main thing that I've got over and over and over and over again. It's just programs in my mind. Get people to the video. Get masses to the video. I'm sure many people are doing that. I'm, I'm thinking about Kevin Sosa's viral Facebook message a little bit differently now. Now he just had, he literally takes videos are already viral viral already and just he takes them and puts his little capture page link inside of the description and lets them continue along the way and people just like and share and share and it just goes all around and people who see that link want to see more. Here it is. And who better for them to see than David Wood just being ridiculous and ranting all the time. I think we can rant. We can rant twice as hard. If anything, if we really put our mind to it, we can rant twice as hard and get people in talking about complete bullshit, and people will just want to come in. <laughs> like, uh, by understand target marketing, people will see it. They actually, the good idea of when they come into the front door, you can uh, have a little survey of what they really put their email in for. That could work. You can find out why are they here. Were they just here to try to get a quick laugh, or they're trying to here to actually get the quick buck, or both? And you can segment that throughout the list. I understand that completely. I'm only thing I'm worried about right now is just getting people to the video. Getting people to the video. Right now, I'm just like, what the? Just gotta see this video. <laughs> like, like David Wood, and he was just like pointing on his whiteboard. People to video. People, yeah, people to video. To video. I was talking, <laughs> like, the 12, it's like all, that's why the twelve-year-old. On my capture page, I literally have twelve-year making $800 an hour, and then it's, it's a pretty entertaining video, people, people laugh about it, everyone there is laughing about it, so, it was, hold on, hold on. I messed up, sorry guys, unclick the capture. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> want to turn camera off? <laughs> what, what is happening? <laughs> I clicked cam a capture by accident. Uh, I guess I'm alright, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah. Like on my capture page now it actually has that twelve year old boy just making twelve thousand dollars. And it's funny, you have everybody laughing about it. David Wood is really poking fun at the whole situation the whole time. And people will get in off of that because it's an entertaining video. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So they just need to have entertainment all the way to wanting to buy. If you can really just leave that up to it, it will be amazing. Especially with Facebook traffic. Hell yeah. Okay, so listen to this, because I think you guys are going to think this is badass, right? A couple days ago, I shot a video of those of you who have seen it. Um, 
you know, great. If you haven't, you probably want to watch it. Uh, it's basically where I said Amir is sick and tired of the bullshit. I put it on Facebook and tagged a bunch of people, and I just want to share my analytics with you because I've been, I've been <laughs> inspired. Post has been inspired by somebody here, you know, somebody named Nabil, but he's he's one of the inspirations to why Amir decided to make the video and. Before I show you the analytics, I want you to realize how powerful this is. I have been shooting videos for I don't know how long, right? And I guess it was like the same boring, stupid shit, so people weren't watching them. But um, I shot the video where I was just sick and tired of bullshit, and it was just, I was just so angry. I just couldn't even, like, write or do nothing. I just needed to just grab the camera and be like, listen, <laughs> and just, I just went at it, but um, <laughs> that's basically what happened, so here, I'm going to share my, my results with you right now to just show you what just happened to YouTube, it just went, oh, absolutely psycho, right, look at, look at what just happened, it just went from nothing, three minutes, nine minutes, zero minutes, ten minutes, two minutes, to whoosh, <laughs> 17 <laughs> hours and two minutes. <laughs> just from being just crazy right. on the camera? Just from being crazy on the camera. People just wanted to watch this. My next. You know what's really funny is my friend Dave Kelso. He, I know he's watching the Hangout right now because he's talking to me on Facebook. Mm -hmm. But that's exactly what he's sharing with me is that like he that's why he's so irreverent. Like he has a YouTube channel called Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy. I mean, if you haven't seen it, go check it out because it's pretty funny. But <laughs> <laughs> like um, his his channel is just so irreverent and he is swearing and he, I mean, he's, he's even like, the funny thing is he's just not afraid to be so crazy and irreverent even in a circle of people who are super spiritual. I mean, so he, faces a whole bunch of flack and shit from people, but there's a reason he has, like, a million views, you know? It's because he has this crazy, irreverent humor, and just, he's, like, psycho on camera, but, I mean, he's, he's so entertaining to watch and listen to, and that's why, and that's kind of clicking for me right now, like, that's why people actually want to view things. <laughs> it's because it's so ridiculous, right? It is. It is. We've got to do the crazy. I mean, think about what we watch on TV, right? I'm sitting there. I'm bringing a patient into uh, one of the dialysis centers, and uh, I'm looking up, and they're like, oh, we got to wait like five or ten minutes before we pick up the patient. I'm like, okay, so I'm sitting down. I'm looking up at the TV, and what I see is uh, I see like this big – fight, like, breakup thing, like, he won't have her kids because he's been cheating on her, and, and what do you think goes on? The entire waiting room just goes completely silent, and everybody's just focused right on the TV, and I'm sitting there in my head like, look at this garbage, but I can't move, I'm like stuck, <laughs> like, this stupid garbage, All right? I'm here to go now. It's time to go. <laughs> but but it's so captivating because you want to know what happens. <laughs> you want to know what happens, even though it's a bunch of crap, right? Um, and and then like before on the way out, we we left with our patient, but I wanted to sit there and be like. <gasps> Is he really the baby daddy or didn't know? You know, it's just like, but like, I think he's bullshitting, you know? It's just like, but this is what at least America watches, right? I mean, it's, it's, it's sad and it's, it is pathetic, but, but think about how captivating it is. It's so, it's such curiosity building to the point where we get frozen in our seats where we have to watch TV. Think about, like, I'm so happy to watch TV anymore, but but think about what happens when people do watch TV. I mean, that's it's traumatizing. It really is. We're stuck there. We're just, like, five hours of our life gone. Right. You know, and then we don't even want to <laughs> leave the commercials because we want to know what happens on the way back. I mean, it's just... <laughs> It's just it's crazy. Of, of like VH1, like you know those like things, a bit flavor of love and everything, and that's all like these hood rats fighting, and they just fight all the time, and they just throw heels and champagne at each other, and it's like, what the hell is this nonsense? But at its <laughs> moments, you can't like, look you're away. Just, you're just glued at how ridiculous <laughs> life can be. <laughs> like wasting your life. 
stand to stand out. I completely get that. <laughs> and there's a bunch of other things, productive things that we can do. Or I'm I'm really just thinking about videos right now. I really I've been thinking all day about this. I've made my YouTube channel like finally, and I think I'm like the last person on earth to make a YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can do so much with this. And I'm just going to just like pump. Well, traffic will sustain itself there because it's, it's the second largest uh, search engine right behind Google. And I'm tired of people just like people just typing in like stuff and trying to get that SEO. Uh, it's not the greatest. I think we lost Katarina. It's okay. I'm sure she's going to be back. Oh, wow. Hopefully. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm just thinking about this video, 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 just, just talking about what I'm doing, period. And, uh, let's no, make definitely. a pact. Let's uh, make a pact right now. Let's just decide to make one video a day for the next 90 days. Promise. I'm in, dude. I'm, I, I've already been doing it, so. <laughs> well, I, I got, like, you know, the, uh, the whatchamacallit? This was a really uh, impulse thing. I, I asked my parents. I told them like, I need like this pro director thing. So you know, do little video edits, and you have like your name just slide in front of you and stuff like. I that. mean, everybody's <laughs> talking. So um, yeah, I asked the folks for that, and I got that. So I'm so know? excited to just make videos. Make videos. I'm absolutely so I'm so serious. But it's not really bullshit, it's just things that I believe in and things that I just like to say. But I have nobody to say it to, so I was just standing in front of the camera and having no people with Katarina! Like what? You missed our pact. Your voice went out a little there, Nicholas. But we're going to basically shoot one video a day for the next 90 days, basically to the next event. Are you in? That has to get me over my freaking video fear. The fact that I'm on a <laughs> webinar with all of you right now is like massive. Really? Well, I mean, it's all right. I mean, I think I do better when I'm actually talking with people. But if I have to sit there and look stupid in front of a camera by myself in a room and I'm just kind of like, uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> and then I think about being all ridiculous because I like think I need to be all professional and, you know, nah, like I. Let's do this. Yeah, Let's so do like, this. Just, just make the video. Just make the video. Just make a video. Just make a video. Okay, okay. I can make a video, and I can be totally insanely ridiculous. Because this is what gets. Let's right. play this. How much more ridiculous can we be? Uh, for, you know, compare it to each other and compare it every day, and put it on our blog post. <laughs> Cause that'll be fun. That'll be like, ah, oh, I got this thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get everybody with, ah, oh, you know, just do something crazy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's do that. We can, like my friend Dave likes to say, we can mix the serious with the silly. Yeah, yeah, we've got plenty of serious in this. What are you talking about? I gave like content galore for no reason. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you gave lots of information, lots of juicy information. Juicy. Um. All right, Amir. <laughs> um. All right. So, uh, so I, I, I guess I have something to say about this. Um. This is kind of weird for myself. It's my first Google Hangout, but hey, guys. Mine too. Um, Hi. What's oh, up? Wow. Okay. Thank you, Nicholas. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, but hey, all right. So so coming back to like viral stimulation about YouTube videos. All right. So put it this way: all of the YouTube videos that we watch anyway that we like always mix like the serious and the funny. Like for example, SXC Phil. Who here has watched something of his? Right? No one here. No one. All right. No raise hands. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Well. Uh, but anyway, like it doesn't matter what series it is. Like anyone that you like has entertainment. So when we're putting out content, we should make it entertaining, and then just have it. You know, Nicholas hit it right on the head. Amir did as well. I don't think I really heard anything about that from you, Katarina. But uh, actually, yeah, with Dave, and that's perfect. And like, I just want to let you know, like, that's the way to go. Like, I'm feeling it in my head. And, uh, I'm sorry, I missed all of that. What? <laughs> <laughs> He's feeling it in his head. That's all you need to know. So he okay. just wanted to ramble about the feeling. <laughs> it was okay. good. No, because like that's what it is. Like it's it's literally just driving people to the video. And how else better to do it than making something that people want to watch anyway? You know, you guys already hit it. You know what I, I saw? Thought, I think it was. Yeah. 
I'm not sure who it was, but I think it was Aki Wood. I'm not sure, but uh, I was That's on his cool page. That's a name. Yeah, yeah, it is a badass name. Aki. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Aki Wood, I think um, I was like snooping around. I was like, oh, he's David Wood's brother, so he must be a genius too, you know? So I'm like looking around on his website. And the opt in page was basically a video of him going, like, all right, he's in Alaska, right? You know? So it's like below freezing over there. And he's like, look, there's like, oh, look at all this tundra and this snow, and I'm going to jump into this naked. If if you opt in, I'll show you the video, you know? And then he just, the, the video shuts out. He's like, make sure you put your email in, you know? And I'm just like, dude, I'm totally doing it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and the next thing you know, he runs out and he goes, okay, thanks for writing your email. And he runs out into the snow and he like dives in and he's just jumps out. He's like, oh, it's cold. It's cold. He gets in the car. He's like, oh my god, it's so cold. It's so cold. It's so cold. <laughs> I felt bad for him afterwards, but not really because he got my email. Really. But, but <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Like, it was just something absurd and crazy. Like, you want me to do what? Totally. You know, so if anybody ever saw that, you know, I, I think it converts really well. But <laughs> hey, I mean, but, you know, it's about getting that creative. It's about getting that crazy. It's about testing shit that just is like, doesn't make sense. You know, just try it. Um, I mean, think about it. I literally made a video saying I'm sick and tired of bullshit. And I was just complaining. I was complaining for 30 minutes. <laughs> I was complaining for 30 minutes and people just watched it. I mean, what the I, fuck? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't trying to do anything and then everybody started paying attention. So stop so trying funny. to make videos and just make videos. I mean, hey. that's really the whole idea. Stop trying hey. you know, and just do it, you know? My friend Dave's watching right now and he kind of wants to jump on because he has something to say to all of us. And like, all right, cool. So give me. How do I? How do I bring him on? Just go to the t uh, the chat box here and and just type his email. Address and then, dude, I I feel like this is like one of those like real reality like TV shows or like Oprah or something where it's like her first time on the show and she's like, how do I put him on? You know, or how do I roll the clip? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just roll the clip, people. <laughs> Tell them, uh, your buddy, whoever. We've got a couple viewers, actually. I'm looking here, and it's like it's actually a lot of a lot more viewers than I thought. Well, <laughs> when we're being goofy and silly, of course people are going to want to watch us. <laughs> yeah. This is, like, way better than cable TV, right? That's true TV. <laughs> they thought they, thought they were going to get all this, like, marketing tips and tricks, but, hey, <laughs> they are getting marketing tips and tricks. Right? Uh, that's where it's at. That's where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we need uh, everybody here needs to compete with my complaining video you've got to make a video just complaining <laughs> but a mirror that challenges me and all of my spiritual do-goodiness but it's got to you're on you're on I'll take that <laughs> 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 like, like, no question, dude. Like, he just went in. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. But, Katarina, think about this, right? It's not normal for you to be positive all the time, right? Right? Or, so, right? you kind of actually have to, you know... Be real? Like, be a real human being? Like a real human being. And sometimes... Yeah, you that's been something I've been learning for the past year. Because I used to be really love and lighty. I used to be really like, oh, let's smile all the time! Oh, my God! But now it's just kind of like, bitches, this is it. <laughs> I don't know about that. That just like... <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't want to fuck with that face. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 silly face contest? Who's in? Silly face contest. Can you take a uh, picture snapshot of it? Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, God. One, two, three. <laughs> oh my god, that was so good. That was so good. Oh my god. <laughs> How do I save this? How do I oh save god. this? I don't even know. I'm just going to take a screenshot of my whole... <laughs> just so I make sure I have it. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. Can you guys see it? I'm trying. Um... I'm not sure I can. Is your friend jumping on? Oh, I, I found it. it. I, I see it. <laughs> see it? 
I'm gonna see if he's jumping on. Let's go. So, um, in the meantime, does anybody have any questions? Anybody? Is everybody okay? So, first thing I want to know is everybody blogging? Yeah. Blogging daily? Yeah. No. Yeah. Two days. In I a still row. need to do mine for today. Okay. Yeah. Um, but oh my gosh. I could totally use this video in my exactly, yeah. exactly. So hey, content creation. This is cool. <laughs> That's the whole idea. You could have fun and, but you know, it's what's it called? Um, make money and build a business and have a life at the same time. Oh, do do. Hey, I get to hang out with my friends and use it for content creation to put on my blog in order to drive traffic in order to make money. Woohoo! <laughs> so, um. What else is there? So, is everyone tracking with Google Analytics how many people are coming to your page? No. That's my blog. <laughs> that is like a really good idea, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, <laughs> that is the idea. Ice palm. <laughs> so, so, you guys got to track, otherwise you won't know what you're doing. <laughs> well, I, the thing about it, I'm just I'm making everything. I have like... <laughs> My like, Dave. daily to do list. Dave Kelso. Dude, holy shit, man. You aren't kidding about your to do list. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Look at Nabil. He can't handle the to do list. He's like, no, no, I've got to do work. No. <laughs> but honestly, I didn't have time to track. I didn't put in any tracking codes on anything. Hey, what's up? We see you, Dave. Dave. This got, is this is the badass for P Sec. He's the paradigm shift in educational comedy. He has like thousands of subscribers and millions of views on his YouTube channel. This is the king of silly over here. Oh, what's up, man? Welcome, King. Yeah, he kind of looks like a creepy like dungeon dweller right now. Yeah, I'm actually yeah. figured that's on purpose, right? There's like, <laughs> for the effect. For the effect. Oh, okay. All right. Ooh. I, I can't hear you, Dave. We can't hear you. That's like his thing. He's like really. Oh, we it's automatically uh, muted by default because of how many people there are. It's at the top right, Dave. Just click on the microphone mute button. Yeah. I think you muted yourself again. Click again. You muted it again. <laughs> Do it one more time. Testing one two three. Testing. There we go. <laughs> Look, yeah. All right. I am Darth Powder. <laughs> Inside joke, me and Katarina. She showed me the movie Powder, and I got like this bald freaking head, and the lighting in the room, and the way she took this one picture, and she's like, "Well, you're looking like Powder," and I had this hoodie thing on, and I'm like, "I am Darth Powder." <laughs> it's creepy as shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the so. picture sometime. Yeah, if you do search for Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy on uh, Facebook, you'll find me there, too. It'll, like, come up. Katarina's one of my admins for the page. Ooh, okay. So, so break down some, like, amazing, like, what, what made you come up with all these ideas to just be, like, a, a little crazy there on YouTube? Like, what inspired you to do all of that? Well, I, I'm... I'm long-winded, so I'll give I'll do my best to give you a short punchline. <laughs> you can be long-winded. We got time. My crazy fucked up life. That's what you know. Just like, <laughs> I, I had to figure out a way to you know just kind of kind of be myself amidst the chaos, you know. And you know the the newest um, paradigm shift episode that I'm currently working on here. Um, PSEC on um, 2013. Overcoming fear of self promotion, and you're gonna get to see me and Katarina do some amazing shit because that was from the last day she was in Chicago. Because she was being all fearful and everything, and you know, we were sitting in the restaurant and um, everything was cool, and we just kind of synchronistically aligned with stuff because. I was just like saying to the waitress, like, you know, saying, hell yeah, my best friend Katarina, it's her last day in Chicago, she's leaving in a few hours, whatever, and waitress is like, oh, that's nice, that's cool, so on and so forth. I'm like, yeah, she's got this awesome YouTube channel, you know, if you uh, do a Google search, a YouTube search for Katarina Edwards, you know, she'll pop right up there, and she's like, Dave, you're just, you're just, you're just saying that, and 
you know, like, <laughs> like just, just when my, my channel isn't good enough and da da da, and all, all this other stuff, and I was just like, you know, chill, get the shovel out your butt. Um, <laughs> chill, chill, see you. Have you seen uh, one of her uh, Empower Network videos that she did on her channel? You'll see her and I there, and, and I actually whip out the shovel for the analogy. And, uh, <laughs> but anyway, so what ends up happening is, you know, I'm taking video around the restaurant, and there's like this flaming cheese we got the video of, like, you know, like two foot flame on the thing, igniting the brandy and everything. I was just talking about, yeah, you know, just, um, I'll be honest, you know, I'm just, we're taking some video and we're going to put it online and advertise your store and, you know, I'm going to be making money on YouTube by having this video and all of a sudden it catches the interest of the owner. So the owner's walking up, and he ends up, like, paying for some of our food. He's like, oh, no charge, no charge, it's cool. <laughs> so then he wants to, he wants me to, to help him get some online stuff going for his website because he's, like, an older guy and online illiterate. And then, you know, he's like, oh, Katerina, next time you're, you're in Chicago, you know, you got to do some photography for my store and all this. And he was, like, hitting on Katerina hardcore. I mean, he wasn't trying to, like, be a dick or anything. <laughs> Who but you know, he's just, he's, it he's, happens. He's this Greek guy. He's this Greek guy. He's like, oh, Katarina, I go to Greece, then I go to Portland, and and she's like, oh, you're you're gonna be in Portland too? Oh yes, I I coming with you. You have extra tickets, right? <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> and it's like Kat, Katarina was uh, was blown away. She just you know couldn't believe. Um, and there's there's another um, another section of that's gonna be in in the video too, as far as like when Katarina really starts to lighten up and it's you know outside of the um, of the restaurant. It's like you know when we were waiting like at the at the bus stop and stuff, and um, <clears throat> she just got really silly. This will be included in the video, but you're not going to be able to see it right this second. But I want to play a little, little bit of the audio just so you can see how lightened up she got. It's going to be pretty um, apparent here. Let me load this right quick. That one. <laughs> I'm Dave Kelso. Not really. Chicago land bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Nineties. <laughs> you recorded that. Oh my god. Northwest side. Northwest side. <laughs> Mind you, I'm wearing his hat like backwards. I'm standing on a bench at a bus like stop. Like, 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 well, so <laughs> it was just retarded. <laughs> and I'm saying this shit, like, in public. <laughs> Maybe a couple of dirty shovels. <laughs> hey, so all of you out crazy that, okay? <laughs> oh, it, won't <laughs> it won't be hard. It won't be hard. Oh, damn, you're Can really you do it, Nicholas? Do you accept the challenge? Hell yeah. Oh, hell you yeah. Have nothing on you, right? <laughs> Portland in the house. <laughs> Portland's about to be out of the house, out of the Chicago house. <laughs> Portland's got a freaking plane to catch over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still seriously at this point. I'm still sitting there with like this cap sideways now. Oh yeah, wait like, you see it. You're gonna love this. Just, I'm, just so I'm looking for it right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna make so much money off that video. <laughs> see, th see, that's the thing that I didn't really understand until today. That's why Dave does all this stupid shit that like I never really understood, and I was always like. But that's not politically correct. That's kind of stupid, Dave. That's brilliant. I would, I would <laughs> there's a video. 
there's a video that I, I uploaded like 48 hours ago and it's already got like in excess of 300 views and over 14 comments and shit like that. Okay, guys, model the crazy. I think we got somebody, we got a out crazy. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Watch my video, share them around, and I dare y'all to out crazy me. <laughs> okay. I you will see. That. You will see just what kind of a challenge it is. It's really hard to beat this kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, like, like, for example, one thing I'm into is polarity integration, which means recognizing light and dark as frequencies and integrating them instead of having all these stupid judgments. And there's this one I did like hey, with Dave. a friend. It's called Dave. Morning Wood. What? Just letting you know, all three of these guys here are hypnotists, too, so they're all into that kind of crazy shit, too. <laughs> look at his face. I, I look like I look like the V mask, but without the mask, you know. Just do it again, <laughs> so I can take a good picture. <laughs> Creepy. That was really scary when the like the flash <laughs> comes out of his face. I you love know, it, man. I, I was hoping my lights would show up in here better. I got like green, red, and blue, but you're just seeing just a little streak of blue. I was hoping that you know it would be like a full like glowing effect, but it's not. Nope. I'm not getting the effect I was truly after. It looks like the nightmare before Christmas, honestly. It does! That's what I'm saying. It's just so creepy looking. <laughs> you know, you know yeah. how, how synchronistic that is? If, if you could see the rest of how my room's done up, you would really know how accurate that statement is. Mm, yeah. Katarina's seen it. <laughs> yeah. But like I was saying, there's this one video I did. Um, it's called... Morning wood. You no, know, this is like totally spontaneous. Like me, this dude Chris, uh, my dad, and our other friend. We were out in the backyard and you know just chilling and whatever, drinking some beers, whatever. And there was like this piece of wood that I had out there, and um, we were just like joking around. He's talking about, oh yeah, morning wood, morning wood. So I like take this piece of wood and I write with marker. I put like just a little dick on it, and I'm like, Chris's morning wood. And he, like, grabs the wood, and he's just, like, you know, like, like, sticking it down by his crotch and doing it like it's some sort of, like, Vidal Sassoon frickin' photo op. And, like, you know, Connie starts coming around, leaning down, taking pictures and shit. And she, he's like, women love my morning wood, you know. And just, like, it's just, like, crazy. You know, like, I got that up on there. And, and where did Katarina go? Suddenly she just, like, she's a ghost. She vanished. So, um, oh, there you are. Just info for all of you. I, I kind of need to hop off the computer for a second. I'm just kind of muting and turning off my camera. I'm still listening. All right. All right. Cool. <laughs> hey, wait. I have a question for you. Is it still daylight over there? No. No. It's it's kind of it's 8:30 p.m. right now. Okay. 8:35. 10:35 but... here Central Time. Is that like a fake background you have then, or? Me? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm in the yard. Oh. That's amazing. I just wanted to let you know that's cool. Yeah, I'm on the deck. That's why I had to go grab my jacket. It's out in what we refer to in Chicago as BFE. Bumblefuck Egypt. What? <laughs> no, I don't. I live in the suburbs. It's nice out here. It's beautiful I didn't, I didn't Portland. Say it wasn't nice. I just said it's BFE. <laughs> All right. Continue <laughs> on. Carry on, yeah, folks. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, I thought he was chugging a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> it, actually, it's it's just what the doctor ordered. It's just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Is that coming up in reverse for you? It's coming up in reverse on my screen. No. I'm looking no. at it. No. Like reverse is weird. <laughs> it's just reverse for you. They just like to mess uh, with your head. <laughs> it's just because I'm so freaking backwards, you know. It's just the reflection. I'm gonna test that out right now. Let's see if it comes up reverse for me. Right. No, we'll we'll one. So, what would you be your like tips and tricks to just get started and do something crazy? Like, is it like spontaneous? Do you plan your crazy out? Some and some. I mean, like, what is it that that inspires you to just say, "Oh, let's put this on video"? <laughs> it's just impulsivity and spontaneity and things coming. The first most important thing is um, don't be afraid to be yourself. Because anything based on not being yourself, it's not going to do too well because it's going to be 
fake as hell. I mean, you got to be a natural at what you're doing. So you have to be aligned with yourself. So that means you got to be yourself while you're doing it. Because <laughs> people wonder why the hell they fail at everything. It's like, well, you're trying to do everything everybody else's way. And because we live in the totalitarian fascist fourth fucking Reich, um, basically nobody else's way is going to work because, you know, school is just like, obey, don't ask questions, and don't eat Pop-Tarts or we're throwing you in jail. So, you know, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's just like we're so locked down. You know, a lot of people say that, you know, well, people are just lazy and they don't want to take responsibility. Well, it's not so much that they don't want to take responsibility. It's that we're trained by society to be, to be terrified of everything. You know, it's like we're terrified to take responsibility, to not take responsibility. We're terrified to live. We're terrified to die. We're terrified to love. We're terrified to, ha to hate. We're terrified to stay home. We're terrified to go outside. We're terrified to do anything and everything. And that's why George W. Bush has the war on terror, war on terror. He started that up. Because you're aligning with the idea of terror, so then your reality is like, oh my god, terror, be fucking afraid of everything. And that makes you fucking useless. I mean, if you're sitting there terrified of everything, you're cowering in a corner, even being afraid of the fact that you're in the fucking corner cowering. So, I mean, it's like, it just totally paralyzes you. You just got to kind of burst out and not be afraid to be yourself, and that's really the biggest key. Because until you reach that, anything you try to do is going to be screwed. And I learned that so many times the hard way. I would follow all these policies and procedures and methods and whatever. I'd be like, why didn't it work? I followed everything to the letter. It didn't work because I wasn't in my fucking sovereignty. Everybody else is making me their bitch, so where was I supposed to be going? <laughs> You're absolutely right. You know, I mean, it's it's like you said about, because uh, I was watching before what you said to kind of be a little outrageous and be like, nah, I don't need to talk to you because, you know, you're just being a wussy and whatever. <laughs> you know, that works on some people, but with other people, when they have real low self-esteem, that'll chase them away. Yeah. I'd like to recommend an alternate. Respect how it. they feel and just be like, look, what I'm saying is just according to my preferences I respect your preferences, but my expressions are about me being me. And, you know, if you're too chicken shit to do this stuff, cool. You know, I respect it. But I choose to really not waste my time talking to someone who's not really that interested. So that way you're not just up in your face like, oh, fuck off, you're goddamn pussy. No, you're just saying, look, <laughs> it's not about you. It's about me. I personally just don't want to waste my time. I respect that, you know, maybe you're not ready for this yet, and that's cool. Maybe one day you will be, and when you're ready to have that conversation, come talk to me. But, you know, until then, it's cool. You go do your thing. I'll, I'll go do mine. When you're ready, come talk to me. Always put out that you respect their right to, you know, be how they are, and just make sure that when you call them a pussy, make sure you validate that. That's your opinion. That's not you trying to like bust on their ass them down or anything like that yeah, yeah, my action is being a pussy it's just hey you know all due respect think I'm an asshole it's great you know you got your right to think I'm an asshole for thinking you're a pussy cool you know I respect that peace you know yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, of course, it depends on what my purpose is. I mean, I'm always looking for the response, right? So, I mean, I'm not going around insulting people on purpose, but sometimes I am, <laughs> you know? So, but if, it really depends on what I'm looking for. If, if, if what I'm trying to do is exactly what you've said, then that's exactly how I'd come out in my communication. But if I'm looking for um, a more of a... Um, uh, you know, um, a more of an energized you know, response. Getting a rise out of a target audience. Yeah. If if I can get that rise, and you know, obviously I'm just testing around with people right now. So, and of course I can clean up anything I do. I just be like, I'm sorry, that's not what I meant. I think what I'm trying to say is, you know, then you can just clean it up. But um, but for the most part is is I'm trying to polarize and and get a message that resonates with people, a message that's going to um, really move the masses.
is. I mean, if you think about it, what this, what Dave and Dave have done with Empower Network is he's literally taken that line and run with it for the last two years. And obviously, it's building him a multi-million dollar business. So apparently, so. <laughs> apparently it's working. Yeah, right now, I'm just in observation mode when it comes to Empower Network, but that's cool. I'm enjoying, you know, watching Katarina do her stuff with it and you know, she's having fun, and, you know, I'm very supportive of her with doing that, and, mm -hmm. you know, I've been trying to teach her the YouTube stuff, but, you know, yeah. she's been a, she's been a wussy, sorry, Katarina, <laughs> she's been a wussy, don't be a wussy, she it, so she's been rejecting my knowledge on it, No. and I really think that if I could share my knowledge with her on that and get her to be brave enough to make authentic videos and plus I freely open people to like download my videos from my channel upload them to yours and monetize them for fuck's sake you know I'm already in there get a piece of the pie right right and, right you know, with all that then she could take videos she's made videos I've made whatever do up her you know her blogs or empower network blogs and that brings more traffic to me more traffic to her more traffic Everybody's to everybody who's associated with us Exactly. She did one blog that has um, one of my videos. You may or may not have seen it. It's called um, You're More Than You Think You Are. Huh. Has she shown you that? Did you check out her no, blog? No, no. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen any of your stuff. She's spoken so much about you and spoken so highly of you, but I haven't gotten really? around to it. Yeah, she has. She's said a lot of great things about you before. Oh, before when? <laughs> Every day since I've ever met her, all she says is talk about this mysterious man who lives in Chicago. <laughs> really? Because, yeah, because, that, because, because you know, um, one of the last times I saw her, we were <clears throat> we were laying out in the grass in the park, and Katarina's gonna be in, and <clears throat> I was like, Katarina, what would you like me to do? And she said, Dave. Hold your nose like this and say, I'm an asshole. I said, okay. <laughs> I'm an asshole. I'm an asshole. I'm an asshole. And I said, so now what? And she's like, that was good. And I'm like, so why am, I'm a, why am I an asshole? And she's like, because you won't let me get away with anything. <laughs> In other words, I was empowering her and loving her and respecting her. When she was in a mode where she wanted to feel justified through self-victimization, and that's what I wasn't letting her get away with. I was just like, I love you, and you're awesome, and I'm going to respect whatever you want to do, and, you know, whatever you want to do, I respect that. And that's why she said I wasn't letting her get away with anything. I wasn't give, you know, it takes two to tango. I wasn't dancing. She wanted that boxing match. I didn't want to give it to her. I was just like, hey, cool, whatever you want. And, you know... <laughs> That's how I tease the trolls on, on YouTube, too, actually. I got a couple of videos where I'm actually complaining that trolls won't troll me. I'm like, come on, I'm in the YouTube Partners program. I need more visibility. Come on, trolls, make me money. I want you to inflate my checking account. What's your problem? I need the troll love. Come on. You can watch those. It's in there. But that actually diminishes troll responses and raises the responses of people that are worth you know, de your demographic because it more attracts the people who think it's funny. They're thinking, yeah, I got troll problems too, so maybe I should do something like that, and maybe that'll keep the trolls off my ass. And the <laughs> trolls hate it for the same re reason Katarina hated it when I was respecting her, is, you know, I was in that embrace with Katarina, in that embrace with the trolls, saying, come on, trolls. So suddenly I'm no fun now. It's like I don't want to fight. I'm saying, come Come on, give me a hug, and it's like, wait, you don't want to fight? I, I can't get off on being intimidating and get a rise out of you. Uh, you're no fun. You become a dry well. So then all you were, you attract are the people who are like, wow, that was cool what you just did. And then that <laughs> builds your demographic. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> How long have you been messing with YouTube like that? Um, so, uh, Like, uh... And I've been online for practically forever, but it's like uh, 2010. Um, really, 2011, I started really getting more into things, but 2010, I barely knew how to even use a video editor. I mean, I'm a hardcore computer geek. I mean, I build computers and everything, but that doesn't mean I know how to do everything. 
you know, there's a learning right, curve. Right. And 2010 was really like my start in trying to figure out this damn video editor. I mean, I'm, I'm a musician and everything else, jack of many trades, independent yeah. musician, you know, I don't like want anybody to pay for my stuff. I mean, if they want to send me some money, cool. But, you know, music is music. It's out there. It's free. Go spread it around. So, you know. Spread the love. Yeah. And then, you know, you upload your music to YouTube, and then you're getting paid for it, because then it's your music, so you can monetize the shit. So that's cool, too. That's, that is awesome. <laughs> I welcome you all to do the same thing. Go find my music on YouTube. Upload it to your channel and hit that little green fucking button with the dollar sign. <laughs> hit that green fucking button. <laughs> you know, <laughs> well said. Hit, the, hit that green fucking button. Make some money, people. <laughs> exactly. Money isn't good or evil. It's just energy. It's all what you do with it. And right. it's, it's like that old saying goes, uh, what Jesus said, um, you know, give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. Teach him how to fish and he'll never go hungry again. Well, that's the same thing, and that's what I've noticed Empower Network does. Empower Network doesn't just dole money to people. They, they offer resources and the means for someone to uplift themselves. And they're just like, hey, if that's what you're into, cool. You know, we'll welcome you in, but if you just want to be on the dole and take and take and take and not do your part in anything, because, you know, doing their part, it isn't doing their part for you. It's doing their part for them to become right. a sovereign individual. Because sovereign individuals can only co-create with sovereign individuals. Right. It's it's power. Like, <laughs> yeah. People are like, I don't want to deal with anybody. They're backstabbers and whatever. No, they're just immature. Just like you wouldn't have, you know, a, a bunch of kindergartners rebuild the World Trade Center because you just have a bunch of little kids getting hurt on power tools. It's the same thing. A sovereign individual can only co-create with another sovereign individual. If a sovereign individual tries to co-create with someone who isn't a sovereign individual, then it's like, you know, getting kindergartners to try to rebuild the World Trade Center. It's going to end up in disaster. Now, those kindergartners may one day grow <laughs> up to be the adult construction workers mm -hmm. to then be able to rebuild that safely. But if you try to do it when they're kindergartners, you're just going to have a lot of little kids getting hurt on industrial equipment. So it's the same thing. <laughs> That's That would be the equivalent metaphor to they're not ready yet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, I love using crazy fucking metaphors. It really makes people think. Because, you know, if I keep it, like, simple, like, really simple... It just goes in one ear and out the other. People You're absolutely are, right, though. Oh, no, I, I'm seeing little kindergartners run around with power tools, drilling each other, <laughs> and exactly. having a. <laughs> like, like you know, you know the quantum and physics and metaphysics. Like what you put out is what you get back, and the whole energy construct with that. I have a, a, a simple but crazy saying for that that gets people's attention. It's neither metaphysical nor quantum physical. I like to say this. If you have, if you shit in a bucket, you're going to have a bucket of shit. So if you don't want a bucket of shit, stop shitting in the bucket. And if you do happen to shit in the bucket, don't blame the bucket. <laughs> so we all do that, don't we? We do. We shit in the fucking bucket, and then it's like, oh, man, I got a bucket of shit. I'm so depressed now. And, and <laughs> the bucket's all. <laughs> and it's the fault of whoever put the bucket there. It's the fault of the bucket manufacturers. It's the fault of God for allowing buckets to be created. So we blame anything and everything else. We Except don't take ourselves. responsibility for our own choice. Well said. I'm, I am not shitting in buckets anymore. <laughs> well, if you, if, if you do, then see, uh, see opportunity instead of burden, dig a hole and mulch the shit. It's good for flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. No, I'm just uh, yeah. I'd really love to figure out how to get this lighting to do more of what I was actually looking for it to do. It's <laughs> yeah, like you're, you're supposed to be able to see me with all this neon glow around me, but it wasn't quite working out. <laughs> it looks like you're you're pretty far from making it work. I mean. Yeah, I just gotta get somewhere like directly behind me or something because it's not like pushing. Mm. I mean, I don't know why the glow from this other stuff isn't showing up. I mean, it's showing up 
around me in my room, I mean, I could see it physically around me, the globe, it everywhere, but the camera just for some reason isn't locking it in. It's only picking up a little bit of the blue and white, and that's it, and I'm not quite entirely sure as to why. I think it's because you're so white, it's actually just picking up you, and then everything else in comparison to it is very dark. Oh. I think that's how it works. Yeah, I'm not actually Caucasian. I'm a ghost. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I'm pretty excited to just get my YouTube going and uh, get on the level of yours and just this. This is the pack. Make a video every day for 90 days. Um, I don't need to make the pack because I got so many freaking videos yeah, already. Yeah, and so many more. I haven't had time to upload them trying to get them all up. It's like, God damn it, I need more internet bandwidth. I got so much shit to shove up there. <laughs> don't the wrong way. I don't like y'all like that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, I do want to uh, I do want to mention, like, even if you get people to hate your shit, like, it's always a good idea. Like, any kind of publicity is good at publicity. And yeah. here's where it comes from. Like, uh, so there's this woman, she is a woman feminist, talking about video games and how video game creators are very sexist. She ends up going on this website called Kickstarter, gets funded like 150,000, yeah. and uh, all of her videos are just extremely popular. They have millions of views. And it's just, it's, and she, and like the dislike to like ratio on her videos is like 80% dislike, and I'm not even kidding. But she is huge and she's out there. So even if people hate your shit, fuck it. <laughs> just do it. Like, it's it is, like, the greatest right. idea. Yeah. It's totally right, because I've lost track of how many times, like, you know, it's like, oh, where'd you, where'd you hear about my stuff? And they're like, well, you know, someone's going around saying your shit really sucks. I just want to find out whether or not that was true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, it's like people, they hear that. They yeah. hear the gossip. And also, as far as what you guys were, were saying um, before, um, my dad likes to say, um, I'm not racist. I hate everybody equally, and um, and I, I I was just like, well, you know, sometimes though he hates white people a little more because they keep raising his fucking taxes. <laughs> <laughs> of course, he's white, so that's why it's funny. Um. <laughs> I'm 15% Cherokee on my mother's side, but a few yeah. generations back. You said 13%? 15% Cherokee. 15, oh. 15 uh, one five. I'm just, right. I'm I've just been running into tons of people that's got Cherokee in them lately, man. It's like it's like Indian people, black people, white people, Chinese people, everything. It's like, oh, yeah, I got a little Cherokee. It's like, fuck, really? Me too. And it's like, <laughs> it's like man, you know? <laughs> It's like Cherokee's just going around. It's in the blood. <laughs> Have you noticed that at all? This, you know, everyone's like everybody's got like a little bit of like that Native American in them now. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm glad I'm African. <laughs> oh man, I'm South American. I don't know why I am. I'm South American. <laughs> I guess I don't know. <laughs> Well, he thinks my he's parents not. are from South America. I don't know where they're from. So, yeah. Where did Katarina go? Is she coming back? Wait, wait, dude. Are you for real from South America? No idea. Yeah, I'm on. Really? Yeah, really. Oh, oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> um, I've been treating you special this whole time. <laughs> that was a joke that went really bad. But anyway, I think we should we should end this uh, this broadcast here. Um, and where am I going to be able to pick it up again? What YouTube channel? Uh, I'll I'll send you the link. I'll put it in the chat here, so we'll stay on after the broadcast ends. So, any final concluding words for the world? Oh, Katarina's back. Hi. I like. I was trying to. Now you're going to end. I've been no. listening the whole time, and I think it's really funny. <laughs> All right, fine. We'll Thanks, Dave. Well. You're welcome.
Oh, don't don't worry. She'll like she'll like bitch me out later from Barry. Actually, no, because I think that that was really cool that you were able to illustrate so beautifully my neurosis. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do just about anything for you as long as it doesn't involve sharp object objects going at my rectum. We're good. <laughs> how many lines? How many times have you practiced that line, Dave? <laughs> a lot. Katarina was here for like two and a half weeks, so you know, it's a lot of time. <laughs> she's got a thing for like objects and asses. I mean, she's got that shovel situation going on. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> I love you, Katarina. You know I'm just playing. I know, I know, I know. So, you guys um, have been sharing some really good stuff. I'm where's really the link? Entertained. Yeah. I got the. I got like the group chat clicked. Where's the link you were talking about? <laughs> yes, I want your channel. He's like, I want it all. Oh, That's the you? link for the video, and then my channel, I'll pull that up too as well. Alright, well, I'm, yeah, um, that's the embed link for the video, Now I just want, uh, your channel there so that I could, like, you know, hit the subscribe button and stuff and know what I'm doing with that here. Cool. I mean, you got the embed link for the YouTube channel, that's gonna yeah, turn yeah. into a bit of a okay. different... Ha 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 excuse me. Now I look like Darth Powder. <laughs> Why is so, everybody's lights well, off? Was someone, someone talking to you? Uh, what? <laughs> was someone talking to you in the background, Katarina? Somebody just hit the light while I was sitting oh. here doing it, and I was like, no, I need the light. Was it the Christian gangster? Yeah. Oh. oh. Inside the joke. <laughs> that was another video that he made. My little brother freaked out because, like, I was on the phone with, Chris, with, with Dave one day. And Jay. And he, it was well, and, and and our friend Jay and and Christian, my little brother. I mean, he just got out of jail a little while ago. Is he's like really like blah, 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 blah. he's that kind of really angsty kid. Awesome. <laughs> and and he's just like, who ate this donut? Who ate the last donut? You know. And and Christian and Dave, you know, he starts. What did you do, Dave? You started like antagonizing him. I put you on speakerphone, and Christian was like. Who's this motherfucker? No, no, all, all, I said, all I said, I didn't know what was going on. I just said, what? Who's bitching about a donut? And then, like, Christian went on, like, Ugh. Yeah, and so then, so then Dave made a rap about it. And the rap is actually pretty funny. And I was just, like, making fun of him back and everything. And he totally, like, was completely unable to piss me off. It was hilarious. <laughs> um, yeah, he's like this little white boy who's just all, like, <laughs> yeah, so so his name is Christian. So I made, and he's acting all gangsta. So I just like on the fly made a song called Christian Gangsta, and it's funny because he was giving me so much shit. And I'm not kid, I'm not kidding here. When I thought up the original tune for the song, I was actually on a toilet taking a shit. I never told you that, Katarina. <laughs> <laughs> and this tune came into my head because the main melody tune is like, I'm a Christian gangster, yeah, oh, I'm a Christian gangster, yeah, and then so on and so forth. And it's like the main tune started to hit me, and I'm like, oh, I could do something with this. I've done all sorts of parodies and everything else. But I'm looking up the video right now so I can give you all the link. It's, it's funny. I, it's worth watching, especially the lyrics are really, really funny. funny. Screen. Katarina did the opening like logo screen for Christian Gangsta because she's real good with like painting and drawing and all that. <laughs> this is awesome. We need to do this more often. I agree with you. This is fun. It is. It is. I'm happy I was able to introduce my friends that I met in Chicago with my friend that I was staying with in Chicago. <laughs> yeah, why didn't you come through, man? You could have came through. Do what? I said you should have came through. Came through? I said, like, come over and hung and hung out with us. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's a new Jersey term, sorry. Well, let, me put, let me put it this way. Uh, long story short, um, 
Katarina needed to deal with some issues on her own, and I, I already knew that. And let's just say if her energy wasn't already uninviting me, then she would have made it verbal if that hint wouldn't have gone over. So it was just her time to deal with some stuff because, you know, even as, you know, as much as I've done my best to help her and she's learned a lot and I've learned a lot from her, there's just some things where, you know, she was inadvertently using me as a as a crutch for some things, not on purpose, and she needed to kind of be shoved out of the nest to see that there's certain things it does not require Dave to do. So she went out and did that, and she saw that, oh, well, it's her that's wielding the magic, not me. And so many times I've told her, it's not me, it's not Chicago, it's not Hawaii, it's not, it's you that's wielding the magic. You it. And she totally just wouldn't, you know, that wouldn't click, and so she needed that experience so that she could see that it's all her, that I don't have anything to do with it, it's, it's not about a place or other people or whatever. You know, she's the one working the mojo, and when I would tell her that, she totally looked at me like, Dave, you're full of shit. So she needed that experience, you know, to kind of prove to herself that, you know, it really is... I'm her. the one with the magic fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly she is, and I like it. <laughs> Ooh, baby. And, you know, she's got a sexy snark. <laughs> Oh, a snark is a guitar tuner, and Dave made a crazy video when we were in the 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 um what shop was it? Midway Midwest buy and sell. That's gonna be in the video too. That was another synchronicity. Just when her thought we she thought her mind wasn't blown enough as it is. We're in the store and she's like, I'm in self victimization. I don't know how to tune my guitar. I'm so helpless. It's holding my me. ukulele, not my guitar. I know how to tune my guitar. <laughs> and so then. <laughs> so then. So my progress. I gotta tune it. Shut up, Dave. Damn. There's a guitar tuner instantly manifested. Ukulele, 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 not guitar. <laughs> It is a guitar, <laughs> ukulele, and anything non chromatic and, and it's called a snark. And so then in the video, Dave called it a sexy snark. Like, hold I'm up like, your sexy snark, baby. I'm like, ooh, show us your sexy snark, baby. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> and I put the, that's the Christian gangster link that I put in the chat there. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at it now. I'll definitely play it as soon as we're done with this video here. But. Well, hey, why don't, why, why don't you play a little bit of it during this video just as a teaser to get other people interested? Play a little and then shut it down and be like, all right, y'all got to go watch it elsewhere. You don't get it. <laughs> Give a teaser. Yeah. Play a little and then shut it down. All right, ready? Yeah, let's do this thing. This video has been modified from its original format to fit your world. <laughs> Not just screwing with you. It's all right to be just a little bit crazy. Being creative is being a little bit crazy in just the right vibration. With that in mind, you should understand God's completely insane. It's a beautiful world. It's a beautiful world. It's a beautiful world. Enlightenment, then just lighten up.
I'm a Christian I'm a Christian My brothers and sisters, beware the demon, beware that which is Satan. You must cast out the dark Satan, but you should never be the fire of the devil. You must be the fire of the devil. Yeah, 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 yeah
like symbols and you know penis envy and like all this shit and he got in so much trouble from like the people because they he was just like oh um, can I come to your class and you know just give a speech it's for my psychology class he was being all innocent about it and everything and like lo and behold he's gonna come there and he's gonna be smoking cigars and talking about cocaine and like penis and like, <laughs> writing up on the board, you know, like drawing bananas. And... There it is. I got the second link. It's like my version of it. I added a little bit of stuff in and some uh, music tracks and stuff. Like I got that song White Lines when he's sitting there pretending to, well, actually he really was sniffing the pretend cocaine, but <laughs> yeah. it's hilarious. He, he did a real good job on that. Well, folks, for me, I do have to get going and get working on some stuff. But um, I really enjoyed hanging out with all of you. Yeah, awesome. If you're watching this video, come hang out with us again. Uh, and if everybody here, let's 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 really get serious about this commitment. Let's make a private Facebook group and post our crazy, wild videos in there. And Dave, you're more than welcome to just upload what you have already. Or just continue to make <laughs> crazy wild videos. And then hey, we'll, like, hey, do, like, this a is Sigmund Freud. This is hey, the Sigmund, Sigmund Freud, brother. My fingers, cats and Hello, dishes. random people. <laughs> Hello. I'm not random, Xander. You know who I am. Oh, is that Dave? Hello, Xander. Ah, I was trying to get a hold of you. Um, Yeah, for Linux... Yeah, this is not the place to talk about computer questions. Linux is an open source operating system. It's empowering. So what the fuck, right? What's your question, Xander? Uh, for being able to emulate Windows, what was the application I used? One. Virtual Box. Ooh. Virtual Box. Yeah, that's that's the virtual machine. Then you're just gonna need to take a Windows disk and um, make that into an ISO file. Then use um, um, CD Burner XP and um, take the image file and burn that to a disk. And or, or okay, no way. Just go download a Windows disk. Anyway, um, well we can we can talk about like the details of that later. But um, that's you, you, the first step is you're gonna need VirtualBox. But again, you might need to reinstall the Linux on that laptop because remember I was telling you. I already you, went ahead and installed Ubuntu. Sweet. Oh, funny. Well, what, hey, what, hey, did, did, what did I tell you? Was that easy or was it not? I told you. Oh, no, that was really simplistic. Yeah, I told you even a monkey on fucking crack can install Ubuntu Linux. Yeah, Whereas a issues. Windows install is like taking your SATs. I, I, I'm, I'm half expecting a, my grade to pop up on the screen when I'm done with that <laughs> shit. It's like. Hey Dave, I, I was going to talk about Xander a little bit because like Xander, he is a crazy cat here. And He's awesome. We were talking about I, you. We shared the Freud I've been video. we talking about videos. We've been talking I, about I, videos, I heard, right? I heard and so he like kind of, in the other room. So he kind round of, of applause for Xander. Yeah, round, round of applause. <laughs> wait, 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 everybody. What? This is such a comedic kid. And I've been trying to encourage him to make crazy videos of his own too, because <laughs> he, smile. I know he's he's like so shy about it, but it's so cute. And so I've been hoping that maybe like by me making crazy videos, I can encourage him too to make ridiculous videos, because he has like the best wit. He has like the best wit of anybody. I, he can literally make me like almost pee my pants from laughing so hard within like three minutes. Not joking. When you watch that Ready, scene, set, go. <laughs> disturbing scene, watching her pee her pants as a full-grown woman. <laughs> he already did it. It's only 10 seconds. Disturbing <laughs> scene, watching Xander really sniff fake cocaine. Oh, man, I hope everybody watches that video because Alexander is, like, the funniest... How are Does you? it like a... 17-year-old kid? Uh, I'm I know. glad that we're siblings and you can't remember how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> how old are you, buddy? It like a boss, you know? 17. 17 is a good age, sir. Keep at it. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Keep at it. You know you can be immortal. <laughs> you are the Highlander. There can be only one. Just I'm stay going to have to sacrifice at least five virgins for that. <laughs> 
Oh, by the way, Xander, you know, this is being recorded and going on YouTube, so you're already a part of the crazy video. He is. Now he's cheating out. Let's wrap. Uh, All right, let's wrap this up. Any final words? Final words. You want to wrap it? I'm a Christian gangster. Yeah. Oh, not that kind of rap. Never mind. <laughs> I'm tired, I, folks. Let's go oh. to bed. <laughs> that works. Hey, I thought our team motto was uh. Was fuck bitches get money? What happened? <laughs> Look at her face. Hey, I'm on the prosperity team. I'm not on <laughs> get money, but Obama's so far away. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. I'm going to end this. Peace, everybody. Come back. Watch our videos. Read our emails. Stay involved. This is where the magic is at. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's doing their crazy dance. Peace. <laughs>